Hello guys, how are you doing? I am Rahul and welcome to the Concept Builder. We are continuing our absorption mass transfer topic and uh, if you haven't got uh, to our first video then first of all you should uh, watch our first video because uh, there we have talked about the operating line, we have, we have talked about the GS, LS, uh, capital X1, capital X2 and all this uh, terms you are seeing over here and what does it mean how does it work and everything like that so first of all if you haven't look at go there and if you have watched our second our first video then welcome to the second video guys so we, today we are continuing and uh, i hope that you already know what this these terms are mean and uh, you also know that uh, how to draw it on our capital y capital a, x axis okay guys so you must be familiar with this curve which is of the mole ratio y and the mole ratio of liquid capital y and capital x diagram which we have seen in our previous video and uh, so we are continuing out so this is our operating line and this is our equilibrium line we have assumed that the equilibrium curve is linear okay and uh, it has the equation we assume that it has the equations let's say capital y star equal to mx capital x okay so th this equation we have assumed and the y and x are the, of course the mole ratio and the m is the slope of our equilibrium curve now let's talk about the equal uh, of about the operating line and uh, you all, all you already know that it has a slope of yes ls upon gs okay so this is our operating line and uh, what does it telling that is starting from the x2 comma y2 so x2 comma y2 is uh, somewhere here so this the top point is over here and this is our bottom point and if you see it look at the y1 well, this is already specified because the gas coming in will have a particular composition and uh, based on that based on y1 and y2 you will have to design our column so this point is fixed so remember that you cannot change this line so every time your operating line should start from this point and should end where it cuts this y equal to y1 line okay so and and the point where they will cut you will get your x1 so the x1 will vary depending upon the slope how it will suppose if i decrease the liquid flow rate and if, so if i decrease the liquid flow rate the slope will decrease like this and uh, it will cut somewhere here like this as this line will be like this okay and the x1 again will be changed so you can see that by changing the liquid solvent flow rate you can this thing will change and uh, as i'm decreasing it it is getting higher and higher so the there is also concept that, that if you decrease the solvent as you decrease the solvent flow rate the composition of liquid coming out means the capital x1 will increase but up to how much like to how much it will extend so if you decrease 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 like this to understand a better way let's see an animation and So I hope that you have uh, looked at the animation and you have understood it. So the final conclusion was something like this. So our operating line is touching the equilibrium line and here you will getting the x1 and you can see that this is the maximum composition of liquid you can get. Okay, so the question can be asked this like for maximum liquid composition find out the slope. So the slope of operating line in this case for maximum x would be the ls minimum on gs now the question is like how can you calculate it that's the basic question you can get so that's the answer we're gonna find right now so let's examine this point what is happening over here that our operating line meets the equilibrium line that means and what the coordinates of this point is x1 comma y1 so x1 is the liquid coming out and y1 is the gas coming in and if this point is touching our equilibrium curve 
that means that these both are in equilibrium that's the condition you have to remember once again i'm saying that whenever you asked for liquid minimum flow rate or ls minimum or uh, in other terms like uh, the condition when the x will x1 will be maximum in this case we have to find the ls minimum and for the ls minimum the condition the sufficient and necessary condition that the incoming gas and the outgoing liquid should be in equilibrium they should follow the equilibrium rule they should be in equilibrium and if you have understood this you have understood all the ls minimum concept congratulations so in this case the ls will become ls minimum because they are in equilibrium and uh, for in this case what is happening that the mass transfer rate the mass transfer coefficient the overall mass transfer rate is so low so decrease over here so the number of trays will be required infinite so if you go like this go like this like this then you will see that here to get you will need infinite number of trays and you go like this so you will need infinite number of trays okay when you need infinite number of trays what it replies that you will need infinite long tower okay so the tower required will be very high so the operating cost will be low because uh, you don't have to feed lot of liquid you, you you are feeding the minimum liquid but so the operating cost to get down but the fixed cost will increase because you will need uh, infinite long tower so the height of tower will get higher because the number of stages you can see are increasing over here so practically we don't use this condition we cannot use the liquid minimum liquid flow rate because in this case you will have to construct a very very long tower and it will cost you money in the fixed cost but uh, now you will tell that uh, you will say that okay let's just try by increasing the flow rate so if you increase the flow rate you will increase the operating cost so fixed cost will decrease operating cost will increase so what we do okay so experiment suggests that uh, the actual liquid flow rate is around 20 to 40 percent more like 1.2 to 1.4 times ls minimum okay so i hope that uh, i'm clear to you what i mean so that's why the ls minimum calculation it becomes very important for practical purpose also and if you are preparing for the gate exam then they often asked in 2019 also they asked for ls minimum so it's very important so how to calculate it many students can get confused like what how we do it so it's very very simple okay first you need the equilibrium relationship so i have told you that this equilibrium line should follow some equilibrium relationship so depending upon that you will get the equilibrium equation like this y star equal to mx this is our equilibrium line and you have the operating line but uh, what you have to do you have to use the material balance that we have already used so what our material balance okay so this is our material balance equation which we have uh, derived in our first video and i hope that you know how this is come okay now y1 minus y2 that means how it is decreasing and uh, x1 minus x2 that's easy now to find the ls minimum i have told you that this y1 and x1 are in equilibrium okay this y1 this x1 are in equilibrium that's why they should follow this equation so here the y1 should equal to m time x1 okay is it clear why they are following this rule because this x and y are in equilibrium for ls minimum case so if we use this equation then this ls will become ls minimum gs you already know and uh, using this relationship you can find the ls minimum okay and your equation become like this okay so what i have done here i have uh, replaced this x1 from this equation this equilibrium equation and it has become y1 upon m and because we are using the equilibrium relation 
this ls has become ls minimum okay and uh, this equation you can use and you can find the ls minimum okay and most of the question yeah, they will uh, uh, say that the solvent is pure so if solvent is pure then x2 will become zero and it will become more easier to find to calculate it and uh, now i'm gonna tell you now on the screen there will be a question in which you have to calculate the ls minimum it is from the get question it is from the get exam so i hope you will be able to solve it correctly i hope guys that you like this video ls minimum and uh, believe me this it was very easy but you have to also remember the concept that uh, what is the concept behind this and i hope that it this video was helpful for you you if you have any suggestion for this for us then you can always comment and tell us and if you are new to this video uh, guys please subscribe because i'm very much sure that i'm gonna upload much more videos on mass transfer heat transfer process control cre pd and each and every topic that comes into chemical engineering syllabus so there are gonna be video on each and every topic and uh, like share and subscribe and in the next video we're gonna cover our stripping stripping mass transfer phenomena which is the opposite of the absorption and also we're gonna look at the co-current mass transfer in which both liquid and gas will enter from the same side so for these two topics can be in the next video guys and after that we will also cover NTU and